guys, a lot has happened this week. We learned that the NSA has only expanded its authority through data mining and tracking of user information. We finally saw the start of a trial against one of the biggest whistleblowers in history, Private Bradley Manning. And of course, we heard the news that the one and only Michelle Bachman will not be seeking re-election in Congress. Now, if you've been watching the corporate media, then you've probably seen these stories reported and debated on ad nauseum. For a fresh and comedic perspective on what's going on, I'm joined by my good friend Lee Camp, comedian, activist, creator of the Moment of Clarity viral web series. What is going on, Lee? Hey, Abby. Sorry I didn't reply to your email, but I accidentally deleted it, but I've asked the NSA to send me their copy. Oh. <laughs> Lee, speaking of this ridiculous hack story, I mean, first we learned about the AP hack, then the Fox News hack, and now we're learning about this giant NSA program, Verizon, handing over all the user data to the government. Lee, my question is, I guess, why is the media shocked? I mean, hasn't this been going on since the Patriot Act? <laughs> yes, it's been going on since the Patriot Act, but the thing is, uh, we didn't uh, uh, we didn't want to talk about it then because there was a, a really good episode of Dancing with the Tards on I think uh, yeah no it's 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 only now that they've just realized that everything is being watched every email every every phone record it's uh, you know it's it's definitely gotten to Orwellian proportions I, I keep seeing you know, breaking news breaking news I'm like wait I this broke 10 years ago, and just that no one cared because it wasn't happening to them. But Obama calls it just a modest encroachment on privacy, Lee. I mean, wouldn't you agree with that? Yes, but it, it, it's definitely just modest uh, because, and, and here's the reason it's, they're not really encroaching, is because they don't know when I'm pressing my junk against the phone. <laughs> so uh, until they get that technology, I think, I think I'm fine. <laughs> Very modest indeed. <laughs> and of course, this week the Bradley Manning trial uh, started after three years. Prosecutors want to convict him under the Espionage Act for aiding the enemy, Lee, because they found WikiLeaks material in Osama bin Laden's compound. But Lee, they also allegedly found a ton of porn. So should we go after the porn industry next for aiding the enemy? Definitely. We got to go after the porn industry. We got I heard he had falafel in there. We got to go after the falafel industry. We got he probably had books of declassified CIA documents. So I think the CIA needs to go after itself. But also beyond that, you have people like Lindy England who actually perpetrated acts as a soldier and was given 571 days in prison and now Bradley Manning could go away for his whole life for just telling people about war crimes. So you do it, you get a year or two, but you tell people about it, and that's a whole new level. I mean, America should be so outraged about this, but we can't because we're, we, 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 we're too busy being outraged about what happened on Pawn Stars or, or, or <laughs> uh, Ice Road Truckers, and so we've used up all of our outrage on, uh, you know, America's Got Talent. I can't believe the dog riding the horse lost out to the fire breather. That's where our outrage uh, went. And, you know, Janet Napolitano keeps telling us if you see something, say something. Well, Bradley Manning saw war crimes and he tried to expose them and now he's facing life in prison. It's a complete insanity. Lee, as we know, today's the second day of Bilderberg, one of the world's elite, most elusive policy summits in the world. No one really knows what's going on behind closed doors. What do you think they're doing in there, Lee? I'm pretty sure it looks a lot like uh, Grease, the movie. <laughs> I think it's a lot of snapping and a lot of skipping because when you're that rich, you do a lot of snapping and skipping. Really? You do. I thought it was. But, I, I thought it was more like eyes ahead. wide shut. <laughs> well, there, there's probably some of that going on too. But I mean, you know, I, I think the problem, Abby, is that you have like an overgrown democracy disorder. You think that we should have a say in what goes on in our country and around the world and our country's actions. And uh, that's, I don't know who gave you that, that feeling, but it's a real problem you have. And I think you need to realize that the plutocrats will make these decisions for you. So don't worry about it. Is there a pill I can take for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very similar to restless leg syndrome. It's uh, <laughs> restless democracy disorder. Um, and also this week, Lee, Michelle Bachman announced that she's going to retire. What's the best and worst thing about that news for you? Well, it's horrible for comedy, obviously, to lose Michelle Bachman, but uh, I think it's probably good for God because I think as a representative, uh, she wasn't doing him much favor. She kept saying, she kept saying the guy upstairs was talking to her and telling her to run for office, and I think the whole time he was like, ah, what? I, I had nothing to do with this. 
<laughs> I find it odd that someone who is handpicked to serve on the House Select Committee on Intelligence overseeing the CIA and NSA. Kind of the farthest thing from intelligent. Really amazing. Uh, I'm glad she's out of there. Lee, you it's have a like new Mark video. Foley, that, uh, it's like that Congressman Mark Foley who was on the Child Protective Services Committee or whatever it was called, and meanwhile, a pedophile. Oh, yeah. You know, you see this all the time. The most uh, fervent anti gay people, they're the ones who are foot tapping in the bathroom. Lee, you have a new video out called How to End Terrorism in a Single Day that involves peeps. Talk about that. How would you end terrorism? Yeah, not just terrorism, but the whole war on terror. One day, finish it. All you'd have to do, replace every drone missile with marshmallow peeps. Every single one, all right? This has two effects. I mean, you might have to give them little parachutes so that they don't splat, but every single one. This has two effects, all right? First of all, you have no more. You're not killing any more innocent civilians, so no more family members of, of people dying over there, so they're not pissed on that. You know, they're like, oh, my nephew got hit with a peep. Well, who cares? Plus, the, the, the terrorists, they, they lose any recruiting tool, you know? They're not, you're not going to get teenagers to line up to strap napalm to their nuts because someone got hit with an adorable Easter candy. So it would solve the whole problem and the one thing that would be left is you would still you can't take the money out of it right because if you take away the money from the the bomb makers they get pretty upset so we'd have to have million dollar peeps it'd have to be gold dusted peeps so that Lockheed Martin and Boeing could still make their money well hopefully uh, people will be able to differentiate the peeps and the cluster bombs unlike Afghanistan and when the US dropped food packages that looked exactly like the cluster bombs Lee Camp always a pleasure to have you on comedian activist creator of the moment of clarity viral web series everyone check it out leecamp.net thanks man Thanks, Abby.